Hi, it's Kylie from Handwing. In today's video, I'll be demonstrating how to paint fall leaves with watercolors. I will be painting the oak leaf and the maple leaf that are in this picture. I already made a tutorial on how to paint the pumpkin in this image, and I'll be uploading separate tutorials for the acorn, the mushroom, and the apple later. So let's get started painting. To start this painting off, add water to the middle of the leaf. My paint water is a little dirty, so that's why it looks a little yellow, but you can tell I'm only adding it to the center. Next, using a small brown brush, such as a number 2 or a number 4, add some yellow ochre to the edge of the leaf here. The color of the leaf changes from yellow to orange, so we're also going to be adding some burnt sienna over here and a touch of yellow ochre. The yellow ochre I just added is a little too saturated, so in order to dilute it, I'm just adding some water to blend it out to match the rest of the leaf. Next, dab a small amount of raw umber into your wash. and then add some burnt sienna over here. And a little bit more yellow ochre. You don't have to add colors exactly as I am, but you do want to add a variety of yellow ochre, raw umber, and burnt sienna. I will also be adding raw umber to the stem of the leaf. This is just going to be our base layer, so don't worry if things don't look perfect. We can always add more washes and layers on top. Just try to make sure things don't get too dark at this stage. I'm just going to continue adding the three paint colors. You'll notice I'm adding little dots into the wash. This is to convey a splotchy appearance. For the stem, use a small brown brush with a saturated amount of brown paint. In order to quickly dry the piece, I'll be using a blow dryer. While the wash is just slightly damp, before it fully dries, I'm going to dab in some water to create texture. I really like adding extra texture to my paintings, but if you don't like this effect, you can always skip this step. Now that the first layer is dry, I'll be adding more paint around the edge of the leaf. Here I'm adding burnt sienna. I'm 
I want the leaf to have sort of a spotted look, so you'll see them using a stippling technique. For this process, I'm using both yellow ochre and burnt sienna. For the little corner over here, I'm adding raw umber for extra contrast. And then I'll again be using a saturated amount of raw umber to paint the veins of the leaf. If your line gets a little thick, like mine did here, you can blend it out using a little bit of water on a clean brush. I'm going to finish painting the veins of the leaf, and after that it should be done. And then we'll be moving on to the maple leaf. The maple leaf will be a little bit more red than the oak leaf, but otherwise the process is pretty similar. I'm going to start off by adding a diluted amount of cadmium yellow paint. Use a little bit more water for this leaf than you did for the last one. Next I'll be adding orange paint to the outer edge of the yellow. And then using a small brown brush, I'll be adding some red paint to the outer edge. I'm adding the paint to the outer edge first so it has a nice crisp line, and then I'll be painting it towards the orange and having them mix.
keep working your way around the maple leaf. Here I'm dabbing in a saturated amount of red paint with a small brush. Your wash should still be wet for this part. Here I'm adding cadmium orange paint. And then more red. I'm adding a little bit of raw umber to the stem. Next, I'm going to lightly blow dry the piece to dry it a little bit. Before it's fully dry, I'm going to dab in some water. And then while it's wet, I'm going to dab in some cadmium orange and then some red paint.
Here I'm spreading the paint with my blow dryer. And then I'm going to create more blooms by dipping water into the wash. If you don't have a blow dryer, it's okay. The process will just take a little longer. You can see the texture that's forming on the maple leaf. After it's fully dry, we'll be painting the veins. I'm painting the veins in with the number zero round brush and a diluted amount of red paint. After the veins you painted dry, add a light layer of burnt sienna to blend everything together. And then allow that layer to dry as well. For the last final touches, I'm going to be stippling on some red paint. I'll also be adding a little bit more pigment to the stem. And then the leaf is complete. Thank you so much for watching. As I mentioned earlier, I'll be posting a tutorial for the mushroom, the acorn, and the apple as well, if you're interested in painting all of these fall objects. Otherwise, I hope you have a rest of your day.